Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Tronic battery tester. This is the version with the LCD display and we are going to check if it's uh, any kind of uh, good or not. I'm also going to compare it with this old one with an analogic uh, needle here display. I'm also going to use some batteries for test and of course a multimeter because this one should show some voltage and we'll see if it's accurate or not. So let's take it out of uh, this uh, uh, packaging. The packaging, the back of the packaging also kind of uh, contains the instruction manual and specifications. It's a thick cardboard here, folded in several and inside you get the manual and Personally, I consider this a waste of resources because you could just make a small leaflet and show something graphic, but this is written in several languages and several pa pages, so kind of wasteful because everyone will end up throwing that away, So, and it's not always recycled. So that's the device, it has this adjustable thing here to grab your battery it has here a reset button okay and we have a battery so it needs its own battery to run and you need to pull this protection tab that's for the for it not to over discharge when you are not using it when it's stored in the shelf all right so i'm going to use a battery i'm going to put the battery here and i'm going to use the contacts and I get this indicator it shows 1.4 volts and that it's almost full so let's see what this one shows so it should be probably in the yellow area or over the yellow area yes it's good because when it's fully charged it should have 1.5 volts and let's see what the uh, multimeter shows here so I'm going to turn this on and let's see and I get look at that 1.4 volts so this is actually pretty accurate so let's now check the 9 volt battery and that is tested by these contacts here so I have plus and minus and I'm going to connect it and we get here something between 7.2 and 8.1 volts and this is also something like maybe 80% full all right so let's see on this one let me put it that way so this one also shows good and let's check the voltage And it's 7.8384. So again, this seems uh, pretty accurate. Although the scale here is not very accurate, uh, the measurement was pretty good. So what's the advantage of this? You don't have to own an expensive one. You don't have to struggle with this one. Nonetheless, it has the same function. This gives you a bit more info because this one only has a graphic with uh, good, uh, bad, uh, low replace. While this one shows you some voltage, it's a lot more compact. So it's pretty cool and you don't have to take a lot of time to quickly check your batteries. So I really like this. So that was it for now. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and until my next one, see you and bye bye.